How do you create a Facebook ad account? Very simple. Before running ads, I said you need a business manager, you need a Facebook ad account before starting creating your ads. Now, how do you create a, a Facebook ad account? You go on business.facebook.com. I assume that you have already created a Facebook business manager. If you have not created a Facebook business manager, you go on business.facebook.com slash overview and then you create another business manager here. Now, if you have created, then you will be locked in here or here. Now, if you're locked in here, you click on commerce. After you click on commerce, it will take you to the Facebook commerce manager. And from here, how do you create a Facebook ad account? Now you come here on this business tools and then you click on business setting it will be directed here. This is the Facebook business setting. Now on the business setting, you click here on ad account. If you don't have any ad account yet, it's going to provide you the possibility of creating an ad account. You just come here, you click on ad and then you can add an ad account. If you click here, then you will be able to move an already existing ad account into this new business manager. Now, if you can request an ad account and access to an ad account, meaning that if a company has a business account and that they want you to advertise for them, you can request access to their ad account or now you can create a new ad account for your own business. So you click here on create new ad account, you give it a name, you select your time zone, your currency, and then you click on next. Now, this ad account will be used for my own business, not for another client. Now, if you're an ad agency, you click here on another business or client and you can select the existing partner or you can connect their business ID there. Or how do you get your business ID? just look just just tell them to go on at the top of the url to get on this page and then go at the top of the url they will be able to see their business id up here for example if i just copy at the end of id this is my number this is my business id i will just paste that here and i click on create now i'm just going to select my business because this is my own business and you click on create this you can assign someone which is yourself which is because this is my own name my facebook name you can assign the the role to create and edit all ads it will be you will be able down to view the performance to view the creative and also you can ask them to manage the ad account you select the person and then you assign that to the person nice work it has been created close after this has been created, these are now below the people that have been assigned to handle the ad account. You can add more people. Okay, you click on add people. You will be able first in order to add someone you will need first to go and send a request to be an admin on your account. After they are an admin on your account, you will see them on the left here. If you don't know, just Google how to add someone as an admin on my Facebook account. You will be able to add them. After that, they will be your friend and admin on one of your Facebook account. Then you'll be able to see them there. You select them and you assign them as well as someone that can manage the ad account. You can actually create multiple ad account doing the same process okay you can hide some ad account so if you come here and you click again on create you can create about i believe i don't i don't know if the number is eight or twenty but you can create at least eight ad accounts my suggestion is always to create as many ad accounts as you can and actually duplicate your ads across those ad accounts in case one ad account get deleted then you'll be able to have access to other ad accounts and and one thing that i do as well is that i created multiple businesses account so that when i try to log in it actually allows me to select the business that i want i have multiple business account so even if this one gets deleted i have access to other business account that i can still use to run my facebook ad so this this way you're really safe if for example you don't want to use an ad account then you can simply deactivate that here you'll be able to deactivate you can edit the ad account to edit the name or you can open the ad account in the ads manager so 
here you can view the payment method and set up the payment method if you don't if you haven't done yet and you click on open in ads manager this will open your ads manager where you can create facebook ads and like i said you have facebook campaigns facebook ad set and facebook ads facebook campaign you set up the objective facebook ad set this is where you target the audience you decide the keyword that you want to target and then facebook ad is where you actually import your picture or videos that you're trying to show in front of people you will need to write the the creative and everything and then you launch your ad so i'm going to do another video where i actually show you step by step how to create an ad I'm going to show you one tool that can dramatically decrease your cost per click because one one thing that Facebook always does is that it only suggests generic keywords to people to for people to target keywords that have millions of people interested and so because there are other competitors that have higher budgets than you you end up spending more so i'm going to show you a tool or a trick that will allow you to actually find hidden keywords in facebook and reduce dramatically your click per cost or your cpm your cost per mile one thing that is very very important as you're handling this business account or this ad account i want you to always go here on business tools and click here on account quality on account quality you'll be able to see exactly what is wrong with your business in order to not get your account disabled or deleted so if you have for example rejected ads you'll be able to see that here if it if there's something wrong with your ad account or pages you'll be able to see that here so that you comply with your facebook advertising policy again just click here you'll be able to read the facebook advertising policy do not violate them don't promote uh, suggestive content don't promote a bad landing page that will get your account deleted so just be careful don't promote prohibited content like tobacco discriminatory practice illegal product or services unsafe supplement weapon adult product and all that just read what exactly they are trying to tell you and then follow the guidelines in case you get disabled i will make another video to show you how you can get your disabled account back but please in order to not get disabled follow these steps this is very important if you think this was helpful just leave a like subscribe and until next time take good care of yourself peace and don't forget to smash like and subscribe Thank you.